Hey, what's happening? Well, for today's video, I popped my fucking collar. I'm a little bit concerned about the serpentine belt. See, what I did was I took this little belt wear indicator and when I went to use it, it told me that my belt was bad. I actually, fuck this thing. I, I didn't even use that thing at all. Just look at this belt. So the mission today is just gonna be just to replace this serpentine belt. Anytime I go to take a belt off, I kinda of gotta know how to put it back on. So what I usually do is I just draw a rough schematic of how everything is kinda of laid out. So up here, we'll start from the alternator. It's gonna come down underneath that idler pulley. It's gonna loop back over around the AC compressor and back up to the alternator. So now I have a good idea of how to put this thing back. Now you might say, well why the fuck did you do that if you've already got this diagram right here? Well, you would be surprised how many times this information is not here. And this information is sometimes hard to find. Say somebody wanted to make a race truck out of this and they put on their hot air intake or whatever, this stuff is all gone, you know what I mean? So I got into the habit a while ago of just drawing a diagram and so far it's worked out good for me. This assembly right here is called the tensioner. Deep down in here, right where my finger is, there is a square 3 8 cutout. And that cutout is used for a 3 8 drive, like at the end of this ratchet right here. Did you see that? So you can see by me pushing down on that, we've got slack in the belt now. So you use that square cutout to move the tensioner assembly. So I'm going to push down on that. Just grab the belt like this. And get him off of there. Now I can let this tensioner back up very slowly. Just pull my ratchet off and get him out of the way. Now, I'm just gonna put it on the same way that I took it off. So I start, I'm just gonna go down here to the crank pulley. Just gonna loop him around the water pump and then down under the power steering pump. And now I got them back to where I started. So again, by allowing this tensioner to come down, I can snake that motherfucker underneath that idler. Just doing a double check to make sure that everything got in the pulleys okay. Looks like it did. So let's start her up. Let's see this super awesome belt tool in action. Look at that, who cares what that fucking tool says? This thing's fucked up. Just like when I did the belt in my trailblazer, there's still gonna be a use for this. Even though this thing's got mad fucking cracks in it, it still obviously worked as a belt because hell, I drove the truck here with this. I'm just gonna throw this in the toolbox in the back of the truck because you never know when you're gonna need a belt. Save this guy for later, know what I mean?